Hello everybody, Scott Golden with the New Japan Pro Wrestling uh, show for the 22nd of uh, April 2022. This is the uh, NJPW Strong uh, program and uh, uh, tonight's show sees the third installment of the Strong Style Evolve uh, 2022 tapings from Tampa. Big Demo defeats John Schuyler. Um, Skyler is no small known for his time in, I guess you'd say Impact, although I know him mostly for uh, from PWX. Demo is the Beast from Belfast, also called Killian Dane, and uh, on NXT. Anyway, after the bell sounds, Skyler gets in his opponent's face and shouted that he didn't care how big he was, or he's from, or uh, he gets booed for that. He pokes Demo. In the chest, Demo turns his head. Skyler grabs him by the beard, and uh, and then so Demo takes over in the ring. Skyler through some chops. Demo uh, basically no sells them and stares right at Skyler. After each one, Skyler chops the big man down. He hits forearms on the back, takes down, took him down with a neckbreaker, and connected. With a missile drop kick off the second rope, and he decides not to pin his opponent. Instead, let the crowd know how sweet he was. That didn't work out very well. Demo recovers and uh, back body drops his opponent, who are laying him out with a lariat. Uh, after two running avalanches in the corner, Demo then puts Skyler down with a pop up spine buster, followed by an elbow drop for a near fall. Skyler then is standing. On the apron, Demo charges at him, but Skyler ducks and launches himself into the ropes and spears Demo Johnny Gargano style. Uh, Skyler then manages to come back at things and then goes for the top rope. Demo uses a second rope fisherman buster and takes him down again. Skyler then answers with a few short lariats and Demo takes him down with a cross body block. Uh, Demo puts Skyler down for the count after a fireman's carry slam, followed by a senton Vader bomb style maneuver, and this wasn't that bad. Swerve Strickland up next, defeating uh, Lake Christian. Uh, Tampa crowd is digging Swerve, and they are very happy with him. Christian moonsaults off an apron in the early stages of the match and uh, lands on his feet. Swerve then. Uh, goes right behind him and does a handspring flip of his own onto the floor. At the same time, superhero spot, Koto Ibushi and Will Ospreay did where Ibushi went for a super Frankensteiner. Ospreay lands on his feet, and they deviated from that a bit. Christian, though, lands a basement dropkick and locks him in the um, scissors hold. Swerve bridges out and with Christian's pin attempt and uh, sends Christian in the face with a pump kick. And they're on the apron. Ref starts to count, but Swerve hits Christian in the ring by six. Audience keeps chanting for Swerve. Whole time through, Christian has something. I'm surprised he hasn't caught on with one of the larger uh, North American promotions. Christian returns fire and earns a near fall. Standing frog splash and standing moonsault. They exchange uh, some interesting kicks. Christian then catches Swerve. With a Spanish fly off the ropes and gets a very close near fall, Christian then does the Fosbury flop on the floor and uh, instead of taking his opponent out with it, holds on to Swerve's head and drops him with an inverted DDT in. Um, that kind of goes... Anyway. Uh... Back in the ring, Christian then connects with a 450 splash and earns another count of two. Uh, Swerve is lying in the center of the ring and then he gets hit with a 450 splash, but Christian makes it look easy. Uh, Swerve's house does make a comeback. Swerve plants Christian with a tilt to world backbreaker, follows by a tilt to world power slam before uh, nailing him with a brain buster, winning the match after taking Christian out. With a single sidekick to the head, Christian is in seated position uh, and feels like a bigger deal each time he's anywhere in wrestling these days. Buddy, Mur uh, Buddy Matthews, almost called him Buddy Murphy, defeats um, 
in the third and final match of the show, uh, Yuri y- Yurimura, uh, Matthews is wearing House of Black gear, and that's obviously the sign between AEW and New Japan here. Um, he's basically built to very much like a really good athlete. Um, anyway, uh, Imer has not improved uh, all that much, but has improved his body a bit. Uh, Irimer and Matthews get into an intense lockup during the early stages. They exchange holds on the mat, but uh, Matthews gets the better of that, keeping his opponent on the in the middle of the ring. Irimer counters once and locks Matthews in a head scissors. Matthews uh, goes right after him, works the fingers over, and uh, Matthews resorts to the same behavior again and stands on the ring apron, and Matthews yanks Uimur by the fingers and arms, smashing his shoulder first into the apron and uh, in the ring. Matthews locks on double wrist lock from a high guard before Uimur muscles his way out of that. Uimur then squeezes his arm in pain, and uh, he darts to the opposite corner, but Matthews uh, eats a boot instead and lands any offense. Matthews then goes for his own running attack, and bounces off the ropes. Yuri Murr catches him with a drop kick. Uh, they trade forearms and get back to their feet. Yuri Murr catches Mur- Matthews with a flying forearm and a running back elbow, slams Matthews and drops him a few elbows onto him in the process. Matthews comes back and he begins dropping MMA style elbows on his opponent and uh, referee. Checks on Umer status. Matthew shoves the referee away. Crowd boos that. Umer goes for a top rope flying attack. Matthews jumps up, but Umer knocks him back off the ropes and catches him off the top with a beautiful cross body block. Matthew sidesteps out of the way, causing him to belly flop into the uh, middle of the ring. Matthews uses a curve stomp and goes for the pin but pulls him up at a two count, which lands boost from the crowd. He then lands him with Murphy's Law uh, for a finish. He gives the knockout Uimura, uh, gives him a handshake before the end of the deal. I'm not really familiar with most of the Japanese talent, just started watching the shows a week ago, so don't really have a lot to say except um, for those that like this. It's certainly... Uh, more wrestling-based than average, so that's a good thing. We'll be back with more right after this.